I notice whenever when I'm in in the harness here, and I've got my hips down, that it feels like there's space where he can bring his elbow right. or hand inside the block me. That I'm wondering, should I be doing anything else with my hips? close off this clips. Beautiful question. Beautiful question. And I want to answer that question on about two or three different levels. Um, the first thing is the way I teach pressures. I teach pressures in a very absolute way. Like we're going to spend time working on hug, we're going to spend time working on contour, we're going to spend time working on sag. But the reality is, is you're going to do, be doing multiple pressures at the same time. They're not mutually exclusive. You can be contouring and hugging. You can be sagging while contouring, right? So in other words, you can be doing multiple things at the same time. Just because I'm talking about hug doesn't mean we forget about sags and contours. That's an important point. The other thing is we always have to remember principle number one. When on top, you are a space miser. When on bottom, you're a space finder. So you're going to do everything in my world to minimize space. So what I would argue is that you're absolutely correct. There was space here. So if I'm on that hug, it would be perfectly acceptable for me to hip height, boom, and still keep the hug. I've now taken this space. Here's the body geometry. I'm inside his armpit, but I'm not just here lightly. I want to drive my hip forward as I hug him up. That's going to give Chris a feeling of kind of claustrophobia. I mean, it's like, man, I'm stuck in a hole and it's getting smaller. This stinks. Whereas if I'm right here, even though I'm hugging, he knows that there's like a light at the end of the tunnel. He knows that there's a you know, that, that, that option, that, that chance that he can get out. So your job on top, or when you're controlling with pressures, is to minimize those windows, to make all those windows as small as possible. Preferably, we'd like to brick those windows up, right? We don't want him to even see a window, let alone have it cracked open. So yeah, we're going to take all that space away. That's a great question. Anything to add? Uh, when he does that and switches it up, you, you actually have to panic because you know you're, you're not moving. So you have to get out or you're going to lose all your air too. So on two levels. One, we always want to get tighter so we're going to always, if there's space, we want to fill it. But also the idea that we're going to use multiple energies or pressures at the same time. Great question. Any other questions on the hug? Uh, from north south, what's the most secure hug from there? Beautiful. Well, and let's talk about a hug because I can, I like to use the harness. I like to go in here and get the hand together and I like suck it in, but you don't have to have your hands together to hug. I can be here and still hug, right? You see what I'm saying? I mean, you can literally grab any body part. I can grab Chris's forearm and I'm hugging it, right? I'm pulling it to me. So anytime, any geography I'm at, if he's on quarter bottom, if you're on knee right, I mean, Michael does this tether. When he does this, he gets here, but he's boom. I would argue this is a hugging like motion. Even though it's very vertical, I'm pulling Chris to me. There's that gravitational pull. That's why I actually like gravitational pull a little better than hug, but hug is a very user-friendly. Gravitational pull sounds kind of goofy. But it's the idea of sucking them to you, pulling them in. So if I'm north-south, I could be here, but I'm grabbing him and I'm pulling him to me. As opposed to just sitting here like this, where now he can pop. Right. Anytime when you're watching a roll, you see big flashes of light, you know that there wasn't gravitational pull. Or you know that there was a guy that had dynamite underneath because he blew it open. I can be hugging on legs. Like if I'm in here, I can start, I'm going to suck those legs into me. I'm going to hug them so that they can't run free. Because if I'm loose here, Chris can pull this like, yeah. He can do all this kind of stuff. He can set up for all this great stuff. If I'm in the right geography, but there's no gravity. So, whether I'm north-south or anything, I personally, from north-south, I like to grab under the armpit and then over the armpit. So I like an over-under. And then what that allows me to do is drop my shoulder and then drive and pull him oh. into me.